Hey, welcome back for another Weekend Jewelry School. I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, we are continuing our Durston series of building a jewelry studio. So at this point, we have now talked about benches, lighting, seating, and now we're going to get right into the nitty gritty of the tools. We've already talked about that ring bender stretcher and reducer, and now let's talk a little bit about the rolling mills. Now, if you guys watch Tool Time Tuesday, you'll see that I did a rolling mill video where I compared the four mills that I have personally had here in my studio. And one of them was the C150, and in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between their new Agile series and their original DRM series. Let's jump in and take a look now. So you'll notice that these two mills look quite similar, and let's talk about some of their similarities. Now, both of these mills feature a fully single piece cast iron housing. Now that is going to give you some strength. So when you're looking at the weight of these, the DRM rolling mill weighs about 104 pounds, whereas the new Agile line weighs about 87 pounds. Both of them feature rollers that are 60 millimeters in diameter, and in this case, both of them happen to be a combo mill. Now what that means is that both of these mills are going to have a wire section, a flat section, and then also a half round section. Now on the DRM rolling mills, this particular one has an extension roller that houses the different uh, half round wires. So that's going to be a little different and we end up with a little wider flat area here on this. Both mills feature a wire groove indicator. So what that will do is that while you're rolling down your wire, you will be able to keep track of which groove you are using. Both mills feature a five to one gear ratio. Here at the top, they both have gears that are covered with a plastic housing, and you also have a gauge here at the top that will help aiding you as you begin to roll down wire or metal so that you can get more accurate measurements. Both mills can accept a six millimeter sheet or an eight millimeter wire to begin as you work through the wires. Now the DRM rolling mill that I have here is one that I've actually had in my studio for over a decade. And what this is, is the C150 means that it's a combo mill that's 150 millimeters wide. We have a 50 millimeter area dedicated to the square wire grooves and a 100 millimeter area dedicated to our flat. The DRM rolling mills also feature kind of their standard hand wheel up here. Makes it easy for you to come in and just change the roller depth as necessary. And like I said, the housing on this is cast iron and very heavy. So how does that differ from the Agile Mill? The Agile Mill was developed in order to provide a more affordable option for a quality tool. And in this case, they've taken a few steps to reduce the weight as well as the amount of material needed to make this. And that is where you get some of that price drop. But believe me that the quality is still there where it is needed. So we have a little bit thinner profile to our frame and that is going to reduce some of that weight. So like I said, our DRM weighs about 104 pounds whereas the Agile is going to weigh about 87 pounds. In addition, they swapped out the hand wheel for a T-bar. Other than that, you still have a five to one gear ratio. You still have a 60 millimeter diameter roller and both rollers are hardened to a 65 Rockwell hardness through a heat induction process, making sure that your rolls are going to be hard and usable for whatever you need to do. Durston is an award-winning European company and they have been making quality products for a long time. I've had my mill, like I said, for over a decade and I have loved every minute of it. Now things that you need to keep in mind is that it does need to be mounted. Now how are you going to mount that? Well definitely you want a table that's not going to move around like my display table here. You want something that is going to be very sturdy and you want to make sure you bolt that in. Now ideally you will have a table or a stand or something like that that is also bolted into the ground or onto the wall so that you do not move things around. So when I'm mounting my rolling mills, I will go to the hardware store and buy the appropriate size bolt and nut and washers. So what I do first is I will measure the height or the thickness of my tabletop that I'm going to be drilling into, and then I will add to it also the height or thickness of this leg itself. And then I'm going to add at least another inch so that I have room for maybe a couple of washers as well as the nut. 
you want to make sure that your rolling mill is not going to be moving because when you apply pressure to this, sometimes you need to apply a lot of pressure. And the last thing that you want to have happen is have your table to fall over or your mill to fall off. It's just not a pretty situation, especially with a 104 pound rolling mill. So hopefully this helps those of you who are looking at buying a Durston rolling mill to know a little bit about the differences between the Agile and then the original DRMs. I think that both ways you're going to end up with a high quality mill that you will be proud of and will be glad to work with for many years to come. As always, if you guys have questions, just drop them down in the comments section for me. So where can you buy these rolling mills? Well, there's definitely a number of places that you can purchase them, including Microtools, AutoFry, and Rio Grande. I'll include some links down in the description of the video so that you can get there a little bit easier. As always, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys enjoy the series and you like these videos, please be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and ring that bell so that you don't miss any notifications. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you guys next time.